This is David. We are back talking about Angular, which is a JavaScript framework for building single-page applications. In my last video, I showed you this site, angular.io, and this big Get Started button right in the middle of it here. We walked through just the basics of it. Now we want to go into this tutorial right here. There's an introduction here that talks about what the tutorial is going to build, and I'll do that over the next few videos. But let's start with this application shell right here. Now, of course, we have to have Node installed, and we have to have uh, some sort of IDE. I use uh, Visual Studio Code for that. And now we're going to build our application using the Angular CLI. So if I go down here and enter this code here, ng new Angular Tour of Heroes, and I say yes, and then I accept these defaults right here, then it goes out to the web and it pulls down uh, framework from the framework, a bunch of uh, sample applications, or, or a, rather a sample application, a get start, getting started application, with an in, a default index page and a single component that we can load. And I can see that if I say dir here, then I'll see that there is an Angular Tour of Heroes. So let me change to that Angular Tour of Heroes, and from there I'll launch Visual Studio Code in that directory by command code dot and here it is and underneath angular tour of heroes I have a source folder and I have in there a main page indexed on HTM and this app which contains a component so let's go down here and serve it up using the ng serve dash dash open which compiles all those that source code and launches it on port 4200 right here I'll pull this into a separate tab to get easy to alt tab back and forth all right first thing we'll do is we're going to change the title in our app component to something more meaningful so if I go down here to app component .ts, then I'm going to change the title to Tour of Heroes. All right. And then uh, I want to go into my HTML, this template URL. This is the app component.html right here. And up here, there's some data binding that says Welcome to Title. I'll just put just the title right there. Replace the h1 tags as well and save that okay and then I'll add a style sheet to it I'll copy all this stuff here uh, if we look at here by the way tour of heroes is right here um, and then I'll add a style sheet to it did I copy that and that will be if I look at this you'll see style URLs is an array with only app.component.css that's right here there's nothing in it so I'll paste in things to make this look a little bit better alright now the fonts look a little bit nicer come back here and the only thing I'm missing is that actually I don't replace everything in this I don't really need all these links in this image so I'll go back to my HTML template here and get rid of all this stuff right there. In fact, I'll even get rid of router outlet, although we'll put that back in a later video. And now it comes back here. Now I just have the tour of heroes. So now we're ready to get going. If you've missed anything, come back over here and down at the bottom you'll see the three files that we've changed are app.component.ts. It should look like this. Here is app.component.html. It should look like this. And here is styles.css. It should look like this. Um, that's actually wrong. It's just, the name of that file is app.component.css is the name of that file. And it should look like this. So this is, uh, even though there's a slight, there's a typo in here, it is. Um, uh, if, if something goes wrong here, if for some reason your application doesn't look like this, you can always come back here and copy and paste and get started 
with the correct code or look at your code and compare it to this and see where you're wrong. And we'll see that at the end of each one of these lessons. In the next one, we're actually build out this page here showing some superheroes. Until then, this is David. Thanks for watching.